I want to tell you why I, th I think you've been doing that. And I, I made a list, actually, okay. because I think there have been some traumas that you have experienced. And in September of 15, there was a stairwell attack mm -hmm. at school. And we don't need to go into a lot of detail about what it was. You and I know what all was involved there because you've been forthcoming with us about that. But it was certainly traumatic, right? Yes, sir. And, uh, and by the way, I'm very sorry that that happened to you. That's, that's not okay. Then next, summer of 16, you experienced rape by a friend. That's very traumatic. And then somewhere between summer of 16 and October, November, which we'll get to in a minute, there was an isolated incident with a boyfriend that was drunk and you were abused in that isolated incident. And then October, November of 16 is when the miscarriage takes place. I'm very sorry for that as well. And then February, uh, assault again, this time hand around the neck, throws you against the wall, hits your head against the wall, enough that you've got to go get an MRI. Um, and that's not good. So we have this trauma, this trauma, this trauma, this trauma, this trauma, and it's the very next month that you start this obsession with Jasmine. Sometimes, as a defense mechanism, we do what's called dissociate. And we decide it's much safer if we just kind of live in our heads a little bit. We kind of escape into a fantasy that can't hurt you. It doesn't hit you. It doesn't attack you, doesn't assault you, it doesn't, it, it's, it's one-sided. And so there's not a lot of risk in it because you're controlling all the narrative and you start to interpret things to support your belief that just aren't true. And I, I, I hope you're seeing that they're not true. What do you think? I think you're right. I truly, I think that I did use going and putting my emotional state in somebody else. Um, I did, I found a relationship that was separate where someone couldn't hurt me. Um, and I, I thought, um, and I was under the pretense that she was, she was coming here. Um, and I see now that you cannot make somebody love you. You cannot force somebody to love you. Um, and so I see that what I did was not, that I do, like, I do need some help. It's, I just, I don't know what to say to y'all because I just, I see my place now. Does that make sense? Well, it does. If you're, you're I keep saying you're very smart and I, I want you to be honest with me. I don't want you to tell me what you think I want to hear and by just agreeing with whatever I'm saying because I, I, I really want to help you here. And one thing I can tell you for certain is that Jasmine is not interested in a relationship with you. She's not being against you. She doesn't even know you. But she has her own life, her own friends, her own loves, her own pursuits. She doesn't know you. She has no interest in knowing you. She, she's nothing against you. She just doesn't know you. And she doesn't deserve to be harassed by you. No, she does not. And you don't deserve to be wasting time in a fantasy relationship. You need to heal yourself and, right. and have a healthy relationship. And, you think smoking pot doesn't really hurt anything, but that's really not true, it is it? It definitely hurts a lot. It changes your brain chemistry. You're already running from pain to non-pain, and now you're also numbing yourself, so you don't ever have to feel anything. 
So you got to get sober and then you got to come back to reality and deal with the painful events of your life and get past them.